If ever good news was needed in the UK, it's now. The numbers of new infections and hospitalizations are breaking records. Daily deaths are almost as numerous as the peak in April, and medics are sounding alarms that the health service is struggling to cope with COVID's second wave. Cue a much-anticipated announcement from the UK's medicines regulator. This vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca, has been approved for use in people aged 18 years and older with two standard doses, four to 12 weeks apart. Rollout begins on January the 4th, with the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine joining that of Pfizer-BioNTech in use in the UK since early December. Both are effective, but the new vaccine has numerous advantages. Here at this London vaccination centre, you can see some of the infrastructure that's needed to administer the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. You can hear the generators running, people need to be kept warm and the vaccine needs to be kept super chilled. The Oxford AstraZeneca one though can be given out by any doctor or nurse with a fridge. It's much easier and that means many more people can be vaccinated faster. The government is prioritising getting the first dose to as many people as possible. It's 70% effective. The second dose, one to three months later, makes that immunity last longer. We've got 100 million doses on order. Add that to the 30 million doses of Pfizer and that's enough for two doses for the entire population. If the government can achieve this, it believes the country can return to normal life in the spring. But before that, an announcement that millions more Britons are moving into higher regional tiers of coronavirus restrictions and there's a delay to the new school term for many pupils. All pupils in exam years are to return during the week beginning the 11th of January, with all secondary school and college students returning full-time on the 18th of January. During the first week of term, on or after the 4th of January, secondary schools and colleges will prepare to test as many staff and students as possible. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is welcome news for the UK, but things are almost certain to get worse before they get better. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.